Hey everybody, this week let's check out my complete DIY guitar pedal collection. So this is my do-it-yourself uh, stomp box collection. Uh, it's pretty much complete. There's a few pedals missing that I've gifted out. I'll try to uh, talk about those a little bit and maybe even put some pictures up as I go through. Uh, but let's just get started. If you guys have any questions on any of these builds, definitely hit me up in the comments below. Uh, first, I'll say that a lot of these pedals were built off of uh, schematics provided by Tag Board. Uh, there's a few PCB pedal designs in here. Uh, there's also a kit, I believe, and then a few pedals that I've just designed myself and built out. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, we'll start here with the tiny green buffer. Uh, this is just a simple buffer circuit that I created. Uh, nothing special here. You could probably find it in any electronics book, uh, but it is very similar to what JHS is doing with their little black buffer. Uh, uses a different op amp and a little bit different configuration. The next is the Moose Boost. Uh, this is just another simple uh, op amp based circuit, except this one has uh, one knob to control gain or a boost, I guess it is. Uh, nothing special here. Again, something you can pull out of an electronics book, but it is very closely related to what the MXR microamp would be. Next up is Fuzzed Up. Uh, this is just a simple uh, fuzz based on an old EHX muff fuzz. Uh, your gain is always going to be up all the way and you have this one knob to just adjust volume output. It's fuzzy bear, so this is very similar to fuzzed up. They are both uh, transistor based fuzzes, the shunt series uh, transistor based fuzzes. This one is based more on the EHX satisfaction, but it does have this extra mod here to uh, just cut treble or add bass, however you want to look at it and it does have the ability to adjust the level of gain. The lint roller, which is based on the uh, Analog Man Sunface, uh, so similar to the Fuzzy Bear, uh, it has uh, some different transistors in it. This uses the tin can transist transistors. You also have the tweak here, which allows you to adjust the biasing of the Shunt Series uh, circuit. But uh, yeah, uh, very similar, all three of these pedals. And the next one is the Siamese Fuzz. Uh, this is a really wow PCB called the Muff Opportunity. Uh, it's based on an EHX uh, op amp fuzz. So it's different than these guys. It's not using transistors, it's using an op amp. I do have a video coming out on this one in a week or so. So definitely be sure to check that out. Next is the Murder of Crows. This is just uh, the hoof fuzz from, um, I believe it is, Earthquaker devices. So this is another transistor fuzz, but it is uh, dual transistors. Uh, so two silicon and two germanium. Onto the octave fuzzes. We have the Tycho fuzz here. So this is the Tycho Bray Octavia fuzz. It uses a small audio transformer to achieve that octave boost. Uh, you do have this mod in here, which allows you to kill the octave and just use it as a simple fuzz pedal. Another uh, octave fuzz, so another uh, uh, up octave, I'll say. Uh, this is the Roma fuzz or the Roger Mayer Octavia. No audio transformer in here. This is all done with uh, transistors. The red Octaver is a sub octave. It's based on the MXR Blue Box. Uh, freshly squeezed, this is a compressor. It's actually the second compressor I built. Uh, the first compressor I built, uh, which I'll put a picture up now was based on the MXR Dynacomp. Uh, this one based on the similar circuit, except it's more a Ross compressor. Um, couple changes in what pots are used, resistors and capacitor changes. Next one is the Freshly Squeeze Plus A. So very similar to this circuit here, except I've made a couple mods uh, to make it more uh, personal for me. One was adding the attack mod to be able to uh, filter in some of that attack that you lose when you uh, compress your signal. The second is I added a uh, input cut, I guess you could say, because I found that this one would distort quite easily. So uh, based on the guitars I own, I added my own input cut here. Next, uh, which is even a further advancement of the Freshly Squeezed Plus A is the Freshly Squeezed Pro. Uh, this actually started as a 
uh, a build of the Keeley four knob compressor, the initial green box four knob compressor, uh, but it quickly turned into something I personalized as well. Um, we have the blend here, which is really the same as this attack knob. We have a tone here, which is called the Simply Wonderful Tone Circuit. I'll put the link below for that. And here is a knob, or sorry, a toggle switch here to, uh, to adjust the input cut that I soldered in here. I actually have two of them now that I can switch between. Next, my only delay pedal as of right now, the Slow Mobius. Uh, this is the Mad Beans Cave Dweller. The Grotto Reverb is the Box of Hall, and it uses a reverb chip. So next up is the Ninja Vibe. It's my only vibe pedal. It uses a low frequency oscillator that's built with an LDR and an LED. Uh, this one was based on the Magnavibe, but I've since tweaked it on my board just to get it to sound the way I liked it. So changing some capacitor values around and messing around with how the low frequency oscillator is built. So different diodes, different uh, LDRs. I did the same thing with the Cup of Joe tremolo. This is a tremolo pedal, but it also uses an LDR uh, LED opto coupler uh, to get that tremolo circuit going. Um, I've built this one out on my board as well, modified how that LFO works, and uh, also added the ability to uh, switch between a sinusoidal tremolo and a square wave tremolo. This one here is based on the EHX Pulsar with my own modifications on top of it. The uh, E-Quake or E-Coke uh, Olo, don't ask me why I called it that, but there is a reason. Uh, this is just based on the Earthquaker device's Hummingbird. The Cock of the Walk, which is uh, another Ruliwow build. Um, this is a, a PCB called the Cocket from Ruliwow. Uh, it's an envelope filter, so kind of a wah pedal, but with knobs instead of your uh, foot pedal. Next up is the Kicking Ass and Taking Names. So Kicking Ass is a Timmy clone. Taking Names, which I did a video on a couple weeks ago. Uh, this is my version of a Tube Screamer. I've also added in a switch that will allow you to get more of an OD1, DS1 sound out of it. Next overdrive would be the Martian Overdrive. This is a clone of the Full Tone OCD3, version 3. And then one of my favorite overdrives here, uh, the Muddy Tire Overdrive. This is uh, based on the Wampler Paisley Drive. And lastly, the Mega Driver. Uh, this one is based on the uh, Barefoot Honeybee. Up here, uh, the Fire Driver. This is a Pro Co Rat clone. So moving on, we're into amp recreation. Uh, this is a JHS Superbolt clone. So it's a Supro amp in a box. Next one is the Phoenix. This is an AC30 in a box and it's based on the Galileo by Catlin Bread. Abominable Overdrive is my Klon clone. Uh, I talked about this in a previous video as well. Added the base mod, a couple other changes in there, but nothing too crazy. This here is the King of Drive. It's a PCB build from Really Wow. They're Queen of Bone 2 PCB. Uh, you can take a look at a video I did on that one a few weeks back. It's probably one of my favorite overdrive pedals. Some more modulation. I have the Loch Ness Chorus, which is based on the uh, Earthquaker Devices C Machine. And the Delayed Mayhem, which is uh, based on the Death by Audio um, Echo Dream 2. So I hope you guys like that quick review of my guitar pedal collection. Uh, I think there was 32 on the table there, but uh, there's definitely a few more that uh, weren't shown. Uh, a couple I've gifted out, um, namely the uh, King of Drive. That was the Queen of Bone 2 really wow. I've actually completed three of those builds. Uh, a couple times I've actually used a different decal that I'll show here. And uh, yeah, so uh, I've done that three times. I really enjoy that pedal and I've gifted it out a few times. So there's two of those that are missing. Um, beyond that, you saw the compressor pedal. I put a quick screenshot up. 
Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have a picture of the pedal, so I just threw up my uh, decal page or my, my bitmap for my decal. So hopefully you guys will see that, uh, you know, that compressor lineage did start with that first fresh, freshly squeezed pedal. Um, other than that, uh, the only ones that were missing was uh, I did do one for uh, my cousin. Uh, she was getting into guitar and I wanted to show her something cool so I put together a mix of the Mad Beans Cave Dweller with one of those uh, little muff fuzzes that you saw at the beginning. It was actually the little tiny white one. Uh, I did make some modifications to it, added a gain control in for it and put it into one pedal package that uh, I called the Space Walrus Fuzz. I do have a picture of that and I'll put it here. And besides that, uh, last week's video, we went over the Quaverado. So uh, new to the, the pedal family, uh, obviously I didn't have time to put that in the video as I shot the video earlier uh, with all those pedals in it. And the pride and joy, the, the other one that uh, was left out is this guy here. Uh, this is the first guitar pedal I ever built. It is uh, red and it is based on the barefoot Dyna Red distortion pedal. I'm gonna do another video on this one in the future. I really wanna dig back into it. I haven't opened up this case in probably a year's time and I know there's mistakes in here, there's bad components in here. So I think I'm gonna do a video on this one where I go over what's in here, uh, some of the mistakes I've made and I think I'm going to finally get around to rebuilding it. I've told myself a few times I'm gonna do that but I think now I've got good reason to do it and I wanna do a comparison of what my first pedal sounds like, you know, two, three years ago and what I can do with it now. So I think that'd be really cool for a video in the future. So with that guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, if you want me to go over any of those pedals that I built out or you want sources, uh, definitely hit me up in the comments below. Subscribe, like, you know, do all that stuff and we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot guys.